everyone, I'm Sean Frangella, and in this Photoshop quick tip, we're gonna talk about the new layer style options that were added in Photoshop CC 2015. So what I got here is just this basic design with some text, and there's been a lot of updates to layer styles and how they work. If I go to layer, layer style, let's say I wanted to add a stroke. We could just add our basic stroke and add it around there. And now you'll see with some layer styles, there's this plus. And this is really useful because say if you wanted to have a word like the word words with multiple strokes, you had to copy the layer and do all sorts of stuff. Now, if I wanted another stroke, I just press plus and I get the second one and I can make a different color, like a dark blue, go to okay. And then I can get that second stroke and maybe not use such an ugly blue that makes this look terrible. And we can add up to 10 if we wanted to for some reason. So we could keep going. And it's all on the same layer and layer style. And you could do this with other ones too. If we wanted an inner shadow to come from the left, we could add that in. And then maybe we want another one so it doesn't look realistic at all, but that's fine. We can get another extra little one, maybe change the blending mode of just that one to something different like soft light or lighten or screen or something and you could check these on and off and add multiple copies of all sorts of effects and really push what you could do with layer styles on just one instance of it so here we've totally changed this with layer styles now we got a gradient we could add drop shadows to our heart's content even have a second drop shadow for some reason if you're just really into drop shadows and change the angle and this really helps you really customize this a lot. And then I can go to OK. And then it's all on just one layer style. And then if I go back in there, if I have all these instances and I wanted to delete any of them, I could just press delete with the trash can icon. And if you accidentally delete everything, say you're down here and you deleted both your drop shadows and you're worried that you're never going to be able to use drop shadow again, don't worry. You can get them back right here if you ever need to add them back in. And there's your world famous drop shadow right back in there. And the other thing that's really useful is that the layer styles will remember your last setting, which is great. So I did this, all of this work. Maybe I have this other word and I want to add a layer style gradient. Well, I'm probably going to want to start with this one that I was using. And now it's going to drop in whatever my last used one rather than resetting it to black and white. And that's great. It's you kind of figure that's probably what you want of what you're just doing and not need to remake that whole one. So really useful stuff, some great new tools with layer styles in the 2015 update. It's a really useful new feature. And if you want to learn more about other new features, you can check out some of my other quick tip videos on additional Photoshop features by clicking on any of those buttons. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get even more motion graphics, Photoshop, 3D animation, and VFX tutorials sent every week. You can also find me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella if you want to ask questions or interact on the social network. And if you want to help keep my tutorials going, you can check me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash Sean Frangella where you can get all sorts of bonus content by supporting my show. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video. Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at seanfrangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.